Just finished recording a uh, Facebook cover video for Brown Dog. Uh, they didn't ask for it, but I'm gonna see if they want it. Go check them out on Facebook. It's so cold out. It's, uh, North Carolina should not be this cold. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos in the studio with central heating. In fact, <sighs> unfortunately, I used all of my lighting stuff for a uh, professional shoot last Sunday, so we need to go ahead and set that up. This is the heart of this lighting system. Now one question I've got a lot since I've been doing videos on the M50 is what lens am I using for making the videos? And most people are really surprised when I tell them which lens it is. But this lens I've been using for about 90% of the content on this channel and people really like it. That lens is the 15 to 45 kit, which gives you about a 24 to 70 equivalent field of view. This lens is pretty good, and it does have some advantages over lenses like the older 18 to 55 kit lens. One is the field of view. I mean, three millimeters doesn't seem like a lot, but if we throw on the old kit lens, you can see that those three millimeters do actually make a big difference. Now sure, if you compare these two lenses back to back, the 18 to 55 might be a little sharper, but comparing the size, this lens is tiny. It's light, it's easy to fit around in the bag. You can actually even put this in like a cargo pocket. And when you're walking around with a small lens like this, people do not look at you like you have a professional camera. And this lens, I did a professional shoot on Sunday and about half of the shots I used this lens for and no one could really tell the difference. Now, of course, it's slower. 3.5 to 6.3 is not a fast lens, but that's how they keep the size down. The EOS M platform is not meant to be a professional platform. The EOS M platform is a consumer platform, and so they're trying to attract consumers. People like me who can't always take a big camera setup around. Now, even though this lens is small, it still has image stabilizer, which works pretty well. It doesn't work 
amazing and it's not as good as like GH5 Dual IS2 with Digital IS, but it works good enough. You're going to be able to get some stable handheld shots. And another advantage of it is because it's a 49 millimeter filter thread, the filters like this little vodka variandy, this thing is so cheap, it's like $13 and it works well. And this is one reason I think my footage looks so much better than a lot of the M50 footage out there is because I'm able to keep my settings at 3.5, my widest aperture to blur my background and isolate my subject. So for whatever lens you get, and especially for like a kit lens, go ahead and get one of those variable ND filters because they are going to make your footage look way better. It's gonna take your footage to the next level. The reason that I wanted to make this video, and I call this a must-have lens, is because a lot of people in the comment sections to my videos and other M50 videos are constantly writing this thing off and saying, since the kit lens isn't that good, should I just vlog with the 22 millimeter even though it's not as wide? But I want people to realize that for the money and for the size, and you probably got this lens with this camera, that you should really use this lens because you're going to be very happy with the results. All of that B-roll that I shot at the beginning of this video of the coffee shop, it was not very good house lights. It was pretty dark in there. I was shooting at high ISO, high shutter speed. It was the worst scenario that you could put this lens into. But I guarantee that most of the people watching that segment would not have been able to tell which lens this actually was. Yes, lenses are going to make a huge difference. And yes, I'm planning on getting a lot better of lenses. But the bottom line is, is that if you're just starting out in filmmaking or in YouTube, it's gonna take a little time to go out of a lens like this because it really does work well. I mean, come on guys, it's 2018. Even a cheaper lens is going to be pretty good. And I guarantee if you put your effort into learning and mastering this camera, you are going to be able to create some amazing content with this lens and this camera. And I hope this video just helps to challenge you to stop worrying about which gear you're using and stop putting off creating until you have better gear and to just get out and make good content with the gear that you have. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and check out some more of our videos on this M50 Masterclass series. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.